Hey there, and welcome back to our franchise series. It's episode number 10, maybe already. I'm, I'm not sure if it's 9 or 10. Whatever it is, um, Casa de la Tierra. And uh, today we are going to build a Jaguar habitat. Yeah, I, I totally forgot that we still don't have one in here. And I still have those two guys in uh, the trade center. And as of now, I um, did some stuff in between. Uh, just to let you know, I did already build a second uh, backstage habitat, which is going to be hidden away. Um, in case we need to do some breeding, we have now two two habitats that can be used. So this one is for the gorilla, which is still working kind of nicely. Um, and that one is going to be for whatever we need, okay? So I, I wanted to do the orangutans, but uh, the problem about this now is that uh, they, they don't just breed, it's, it's insane. They just are happy as they are, so they don't really do anything. Um, if they start doing that again, we might be bringing them over. And yeah, you can see some of my conservation credits is not really going high. I have some stuff on the market right now, but I, I don't think um, I'm going to you know, get too much. We also have two new Bengal tiger babies, as you can see. Uh, this is uh, Tanya and uh, Haribo. I just named some of the recent uh, best contributors uh, in terms of blueprints, uh, those two. And uh, they will do some good on the market uh, for our conservation credits. However, we are definitely going to keep um, uh, Tanya and get a new partner for Tanya in the future. Uh, because that's what we need to do. Uh, this is inbred uh, kind of thing we did here, so I, I don't want to make this uh, anymore. Uh, I will start to breed again with normal Bengal tigers, uh, tigers and that's what we're gonna do. Also, also, uh, I prepared already the setting for the Jaguar habitat. I want it to be the main kind of uh, entrance building that is uh, you can see over here. So this is going to be the viewing from here and we're going to connect the path as soon as possible. But now I wanted to take you with me on the journey to build the habitat. Now therefore we are going to, to just start building with the concrete um, one over here. So we're going to follow the line of uh, this area and then I'm going to do something uh, also for an indoor habitat so it's gonna hopefully look cool um, but for now let's just raise it already to like three ish meters that so should be fine and make the piece a little bit longer so we can start following the path nicer there you go we can also just make it more roundish here why not just go all the way here and this is the this is the corner I wanted to take here um, the opportunity to build something really cool looking and this will be the viewing into the backstage area of these animals and then we're definitely going to uh, finish that off with this piece over here um, because we definitely have to uh, make sure that the people do not get as close to this building over here because that's definitely not good for uh, the wonderful uh, how's it called again oh god I forgot it um, how's it called again the facility rating here we go this is the negative impact of the facility rating we don't want that okay so what we also do we bring the old stuff over here let's go around here again and just follow all the lines because I will make this like an overgrown wall but I don't want them to be able to look into the habitat at all points uh, I definitely give these animals a bit of privacy as well like a bit more like in real life zoo uh, and, and just like trying to make this one over here looking you know just nice because this is kind of a, a different approach this time you will have um, only one possibility to view the animals from down there and then the other one is you have to go up to see the animals that's the that's the basic idea I had um, now the rest we need to do now is we need to just make sure that we follow the lines with this uh, invisible fence which for whatever reason I could not drag over I can now which is good okay so we're gonna gonna follow the outer line here and just bring this all the way around there you go and we need to connect this on the other side too it should be somewhere around here yes let's build it a little bit like so it doesn't really matter we will we will just hide this away nicely now um, anyways I can also just make this invisible as well because we don't need this um, I, yeah as I said I, I just made myself a little bit of a plan here uh, so that this episode is also not as long as it needs to be when I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing like I've not okay I never have an idea what I'm doing okay so <laughs> it's all random I'm just kidding it's not but uh, it would be kind of funny to, to think okay so this is the entrance then what we have this is going to be the building um, the walls will stand here, so I mean the people go high up here and then they will need to look into it. But to make it simple, we're just going to build like a, a very simple structure now that can we, we can just drag along um, the walls to make it look good. So what we're going to do, we go to construction and then we just take the plaster wall here. This is going to be it. I'm going to put this down like that 
and then since the inner part will be a bit more tricky we just leave it we just leave it floating so the animals can just go below that one um, and we just connect this here and just pull that down below the path I think and the path is all the same height I'm just gonna keep it that way so it's nicely moved into this area and then we just move it once more in yes 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 I don't want to have the texture fighting there you go and then we just use this piece uh, I'm gonna rotate this a little bit and make that one a fence like so this will be a lot of intersecting later we are going to fix I think I'm gonna easily fix that with some uh, uh, with some rocks and stuff as always <laughs> it's you know I don't I don't want to spend too much time to make it very clean because these are the things that really suck up the most of my time anyway so um, I'm not gonna do this in this park over here but um yeah since things are changing as i said in yesterday's episode i really do also have a different approach now for today's episode so first of all my question is what other games are you playing at the moment so it's not like what you play generally but what you are playing at the moment this is something i'm really i'm really interested in and i really would love to know what you guys do um also does this make any sense to do it right now I think it does so let's just take that one bring it in like this and then we just put down some yeah anyways but my question would really be what what games are you playing at the moment next to the wonderful uh, planet zoo um, what you're obviously looking and, and I know that a lot of people are even watching without even ha having the game which I always find interesting like um, sometimes I'm like when I like a game also watching it I definitely need it and need to, to play it I, I know not everyone can because of you know the restrictions of the um, of the of the of the computer you have at home so yeah well I, I do know but uh, anyhow so yeah just this is something I'm, I'm really interested in getting to know um, and also I, I really want to make sure that you guys know what to do next for this uh, special zoo over here and this is definitely um, I, I will need a lot more as I said backstage stuff but also um, uh, some different items in the future that are uh, that you can build for a longer time so shop faces and and shop fronts uh, but also like general viewing galleries i would love to have some viewing galleries of you guys some free prefab viewing galleries if that makes any sense um okay so this doesn't make any sense here see this is exactly what i meant now we are running into the issue that um now well, this has to stay like this i'm just gonna just gonna take these two things rotate them a little bit more and see this is yeah yeah you can just inbreed don't worry it's fine we are we are going for white gorilla anyway so you can you can just do inbreeding when you want uh, okay so this one should be still a straight one gonna have to connect this here a little bit differently I'm gonna put some um, yeah we're gonna figure out how to do this with some of the mulch but I need this once without this um, oops there you go without this piece so we can bring that in and just follow this a little more nicely. As I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover the corners with some rocks because I'm lazy <laughs> and it's not really necessary to do it right now. So what we do, oh the OKP has matured. Can OKPs live in bigger groups? I have no idea. Well we we will know. The game will let us know if it's does if it doesn't work. So <laughs> uh, I, I I won't spend too much time looking into that. So next bit is here. Um, just follow the lines here a little bit more nice and then again all these little bits and pieces here where it doesn't really look too tidy uh, oh we can we can get away with this one that's not too bad um, we, we definitely will cover up with some rocks as as well as this corner over there that's because that's gonna look ugly anyhow so yeah we're going to do this mm, but I am really looking into uh, yeah as I said preparing for getting back to work and having less time so I really I really also I think the next step I'm doing is I'm gonna skip uh, Yosemite potentially for this weekend and focus full throttle on um, uh, the sky gardens as I said to end that project I know a lot of people love it and I know that it actually is a pretty cool concept but as I said multiple times already it's not really worth the effort anymore because I don't have the time to finish it and also the hype of the South America uh, pack is kind of gone so people are already seeking for new stuff um, and to, to meet these expectations I really want to focus on doing some more creative stuff like you know movie habitats and so on uh, in the upcoming week so I don't want to I don't want to focus on making sky gardens anymore because kind of the idea has you know the idea is cool it, it worked people liked it I'm happy 
and uh, this is how it should be and now it's time to sum it up and give you a wonderful tour to to give the people the exposure that sent in the blueprints and yeah and i'm just like all over the place i'm just very happy with how it turned out at the end and i just want to give it the the proper the proper final you know the proper finalization i think this is what i definitely want to give it and um yeah this is why i want to focus on that one next week uh, i think it's fair and I think this is what I need to do. Look at look at this crap. I'm gonna cover up this with a with a big old uh, rock. This will be something cool. So we can also just move it up and down here a little bit, so to avoid the texture. Oh, wait, this was a little bit too much. And here we go. And we can also just jump in here and just copy that one over again, up and down, so we don't have the texture fighting. Uh, Okapi is about to inbreed. No, this is wait. They are fighting, aren't they? Um, so first of all, don't do this. What are they doing? What are they doing? Is this this is the is, this is how they? Okay. Oh wow! I didn't even know they do it that way. This is an animation I've never seen before. Um, so how about your social? Oh, okay. Well, that is not gonna work. <laughs> um, okay. Can we can we just sell some of the OKPs then? Gonna sell you a released animal to the wild. Twenty? Oh, whatever. How can I just get twenty? What? Thirty-three. Wait a second. I'm just gonna send you to the trade center. How how valuable are they on the trade center? Are they like these kind of cheap animals? Are you kidding me? Like seriously? Okay, wait a second. Animal trading. Your start animals. Check this. Check this out now. Uh, okay, P. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put this down for like 200 ish. I don't know if people even wanna buy it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Okay, back to the work. And um, my voice is not back anymore. Let me just try to drink. I don't have any water here. Gonna get a drink quickly. All right, there we go. Just got my little sip of water and now we can continue and without my broken voice again. It's really like, I don't know what's going on this year, but the, the allergy time seems to be endless this year. So normally around this time, I'm already good again. I think mainly it's also like part of the reason is that I'm like around this time, usually because I continue playing football, uh, you know, outdoors. Um, I have the heavy load of allergy and pollen, uh, but then again, I'm also like way quicker done with it and this year since there is no football well actually there was no football because in a few days my uh, football is about to start again and another reason why i have less time uh <laughs> so yeah all, all these kind of things start again in germany and um yeah it's it's really interesting it's really interesting really looking forward to how this all turns out um not quite sure yet what to expect from all the all the new regulations and I'm just hoping that everything goes as everyone hopes it does I guess um, but yeah it's it's a bit confusing but I'm yeah I don't know I think I'm happy playing football again I guess with all the with all the regulations and stuff it's gonna be different and it's gonna be interesting uh, but yeah well that's that's what you need to do anyways I definitely need to push that down over here uh, just to make sure that wait Oh, well, that looks kind of nice. I'm, I'm leaving it that way. I just want to make sure that they cannot jump out, okay? So this is this is very important. Okay, so we've done that. Let's um, get in exactly what I wanted with the uh, rock. Rockety rock rock. Rockety rockety rocks. Okay, here we go. This is the rock. And... I'm gonna put the... I think I'm gonna put this one first. This one is the easiest one because it's also kind of kind of thin. There you go, this one goes here, and I think we also have, yeah, that one works too. Just gonna rotate it, and then this is a little bit of a thicker one as well. Just gonna bring it down like so, and the other one goes here, rotate it a little bit so it does look a bit different. Awesome. So that's the rock formation we have on that side, and, you know, we just go a bit, a bit more bold on that one. Um, people will be clipping through, I know that already, but I, uh, actually I couldn't care less at this point because I, I really want to make sure, like, I, I think I prefer having this look good than, um, them not clipping through, so, you know, they can just clip through. We can just put uh, a bin there, maybe that works, like a trash bin. Um, okay, so I w want them also to have, like, this privacy back here. 
Um, then again, we have this kind of open. We need to put also some kind of rock here. But wait, I'm in the totally wrong area to put a rock down. And we are going to take this one here. Yeah, that is it. Just bring that in, rotate it. So here it goes. Yeah, it can just clip in a little bit. Not too much though, just a little bit like this. And we're gonna have something else on that side. Uh, this one is also pretty much doable. So let's use that one and this one too. And also some of the smaller rocks here and there. Just, uh, we can use that one to just drag it all the way in to make it not as prominent. Yes, here we go. So this is kind of nice. I think though, I think though that I'm just using one of those mossy, more mossy rocks here. There you go. And I'm gonna use them here. Here you go. This is it. And then uh, that should be fine. And as I said, we're gonna put some some mulch in here, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Uh, I think what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna give this area in front here a little bit of a mossy stone kind of texture to the ground so it looks a bit more nice and then just blend in some other rocks as well because it kind of looks like a bit dull this area so yeah there you go just a bit more like rocky stuff and so on so it really does like give you the option to have a nice looking area i think it already to uh, kind of transport what i wanted to do awesome so now um what is really interesting is we are going to make this front area now uh, separated um i never did this in that way but um i think this will be kind of cool so what we're going to do we're going to bring this all the way over here there you go and then we just put another one that comes from oops that comes from that thing no, I just, oh well, we can have one in the middle, why not? Okay, and just reduce the length all the way to here. So then now let's just move this over to this side. I guess that could be it. And then that one goes here as well. Now that's gonna be the gate where everyone is, uh, like the, the jacks are hopefully just going to traverse through. So let's just make it a little bit lower as well. So it's gonna be like a little bit of a cage over here where the people can look in um, and to block it away from this backstage area, which you can see through for here, but we're gonna make this like a building and then they have still some, some outdoor jungle-ish area, but that's like a privacy area for them uh, to be in. Um, and in order to make sure that this looks a bit more nice, we're just gonna separate that now with our well-known, uh, you know, uh, kind of rocky texture uh, trick. It's a different trick. It's just like slapping down rocks. It's not, it's not a trick, okay? It's just reusing rocks for the sake of having a more natural look to the walls. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's not a trick. It's just very obvious. Very obvious stuff. Okay, let's just use some of those different ones that so not all looking the exact same. Um, yeah, we can also just have that like the table like this. And yeah, why not the big one here as well? So, just want to make sure I can also go a bit higher and then let's blend in some of those other rocks too. There you go. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on the front for now um, and, and see that we finish off this area and then later on we should be easily able to, to make the rest. Maybe I might make the rest off screen or whatever, but um, just so you have an idea of how that should look. And, and how the habitat for the jaguar should turn out. So this is kind of where they go through, and then we can put a whole bunch of plants and stuff in the back. What I will do though is I'm gonna do already the indoor section so that we do already have our, um, you know, uh, little viewing gallery in front of here. So we are going to use the breeze block this time. I think the breeze block is kind of cool for the indoor section. Um, gonna put this a little bit here. And then hopefully we can also style this nicely from the outside. So let's just build that here. Great. And then this is all the indoor section. And I think I'm gonna, yeah, make like a double opening here. And then just like this, I'm gonna give them the back here. That is where I want it to be. Uh, wait, I did put that on the wrong position. And I think the door could work. Uh, it almost works. It almost works. I'll just leave that open. I just leave that open. I think that works. I uh, don't need to paint it. You know, we can... Yeah, why not? We can just have it that way. Why not? Okay, so now let's go to some glass panels. Um, glass. There you go. And we're going to have glass modern. There you go. 
Just want to make sure that this is like double and is there also like a gate in or whatever. It doesn't even matter too much, but no, I don't like this too much though. What is that? That's not bad. That's not bad either. Um, let's just raise this a bit. Here we go. Just even more. Can we just go higher? Ah, maybe it is not nice enough. What about, okay, this is only the, the opaque one. And then we have like this. And we have this one. I, okay, I think I'm gonna go with this glass front. Uh, the reason is I w want potentially to make this like double side glass, but the thing is, um, I can now just edit this barrier and just say, I'm gonna drag this to here. Oh, well, we can just delete this panel and then just move that one in here. And now let's say glass and longer, and then we just do connect this directly. There you go. This looks a bit better now. Um, and then we can also drag it up to the height we need it to. There you go. This one is like, can you just be another pillar, please? Oh, uh, whatever. Just go. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. It does not matter, guys. I'm just gonna put something else then there. But uh, this is kind of the area where they can sleep in. Uh, I'm just gonna put also some uh, roof thingies down here where they can just like lay on top of. Uh, like just. Oops, just come on. There you go. This is it. We can bring in there and then that should be all good. Like, okay, so what we are going to do now is we're going to give them a second layer. Like, it can also be like, why not make wood? This is nice. Just gonna make sure that this looks uh, somewhat doable. Um, there you go. And somewhat nice. I'm just gonna make this like a proper building. And later on, I might even make like a restaurant in here. I do want to make like a different building on top of it as well. Um, maybe actually a restaurant, whatever. But it's, yeah, it's it's fine with what it is right now. And I'm going to put already a roof on. I'm not sure which one though. I, I like this quite a bit the whole time. But I can also go, maybe just use, yeah. I'm going to use this roof this time. Do I? Oh God. No, you know what? We just go with this one again. Um, because it, I think it just fits the tropical style better, even though it looks a little bit Asian, but I think with a few other bamboo pieces and stuff, we can make it look a bit more uh, normal and not too Asian, I guess. Uh, but I think I just like this this roof. Um, it should be also, not that one, but we have another one, which, ah, okay, this one is not recallable. That's a pity, uh, but it should be fine. Okay, let's just put that one in the back here. The other one goes here, another one goes I'm uh, gonna make this this way, because otherwise it's not gonna fit in the middle. There you go. And then uh, I think we don't even. Well, wait, is that not the same height? What's that? Oh, it's because I misplaced it. All right. No, but at least it's fixed. It's actually exactly this is the corner over here. That is good. Okay, let's see where the roof is. There you go, because we need the inner piece. Um, that is that one, I guess. Yeah, exactly, that's the one. Awesome, and now uh, let's slap just a simple roof. I mean, we can use the concrete roof this time. Um, it's actually, oh, well, whatever, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, we just put that on top. And then, here we go, this is it. Awesome, so it's it's already kind of forming, forming the area. And now we just put a, wait, is that like, yeah, well, I can't really do much more, but I can, there you go connect this and then just also have a roundish area like that can I yeah perfect awesome yeah let's just all make it black why not doesn't really matter so we have a bit of a viewing opportunity already here that is nice you can just look in and there's not like not much to see at this point in time um, we can just slap some stuff in already not na well we actually we could we could already put some stuff in here just to make it look a bit better okay it's just like why not we're not as long into the video, so there is some, some stuff to do. We can still just do some stuff if we want, and uh, since we want, we just do it. And uh, I'm just going to just putting down some of the things here to make it look a bit more tropical, and also let's put in some plants just to make sure that the jaguar um, is kind of a bit more in context. I'm not overdoing it, okay? I'm just going to just make sure that this looks a little bit more tropical in here. Uh, just give it a fountain bamboo so that when the people look into this area it's not too bland you know it's not too boring to look at 
So here you go, it's a bit like this. Yes, and we'll have a lot of jungle out there. It's almost looking like the raptor pen of Jurassic World or Jurassic Park. It's I, I really had this in mind for quite a long time, so yeah. I, I really hope that this works. Now let's say a Jaguar now. Okay, everything I'm gonna bring in. I don't wanna give them too much here, you know. I want them definitely to go out into the back area this time. So I'm not going to not going to bother too much putting putting stuff down here. Maybe just a scratching post or whatever. Yeah, I think I think a scratch post is, is nice, but that's like the only item I'm gonna give them here because it could look nice if they scratch inside and yeah. No, I think I'm gonna go with this one. And then we put basically all the rest already to the outside, uh, just to make sure that we, we have all of that here. So the prey sack goes here and then uh, what else do we have? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna put this pumpkin gonna put the card box there you go um, but as always the the rule I had is like put the food and the drink close to the area which we will do food and drink will be here and to make sure that they have a quick kind of doing here and then just come out again uh, we do the terrain now quickly just a bit of rock smooth down here just like this I'm gonna have a bit of sand to to make this area look a bit more water-ish if you know what I mean Water-ish. There you go. A bit more soil here and there, which is gonna be helping us hopefully around the rocks. Cool. This is done too. And now, before we put the animal in, we are doing the most important thing I wanted to do, and this is going to be interesting if I am able to do this. I had this idea for such a long time, uh, and it's inspired also by what Haribo did in his uh, wonderful recreation of the Halle Zoo. And yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to try now. Please don't hate me if it's if it's going to go awfully wrong, but I really hope that this is going to work. So let's say post. Is there anything we can use as a thicker? No, it's not. Um, concrete. Then we go with the concrete post. We need to go with this one. Alrighty. Now let's just drag this like so. A bit like tilted outwards. And now we have to see if there's anything else that goes like, okay, let's say column. Here you go, there's this one, exactly what we need. Um, that's going to go to the top and then we need to rotate it to have this black thing. Oh, well, we, we could have just rotated that one anyways. There you go. Just put it up like this. And now we're going to make this um, a building, obviously. There you go. And just see where it is, the has the axis. Okay, it's the perfect angle. And now this is uh, this is the interesting stuff. I think it's high enough. Yeah, it's definitely high enough. And now what we need to do, I'm going to to take, and this is definitely going to be interesting. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this rope again from the the African rope because that looks always good. Uh, I think I'm going to use this. I'm th I think I'm going to do this again. Oh, or do we use the normal rope for this sake? Because the normal rope is just so much more thick. I mean, look look at how thick it is. But maybe this is the easier way of doing it because we, yeah, I'm gonna go and do it again with the normal rope just to make sure that the Jaguar cannot climb it. We are going to have to make this really, yeah, just like so. And now let's do it exactly this way so that we hit the middle here somewhere. Uh, yeah, this, this kind of could already be the middle. Let's do it that way, awesome. Okay, just gonna select all of this and rotate it once like this and then I'm gonna put this exactly in here so we have already our corner piece and this is now going to be very interesting because I hope that it does give me the right uh, not yet not quite yet okay so we have to do it a little bit more different then Hmm, because I definitely need to fill in now this like, okay, I need to bring that in now the exact angle in the middle so That's kind of this angle, but the problem is if I do it that way We will only have like a middle piece which oh, you know what? No, that's I think that's fine I think I'm gonna do it that way either way because that will potentially make things easier um, Okay, so we're gonna have to put all of these in now Bonobo is about to inbreed. Uh, I think I'm not I, I don't want this I think I don't want this. Okay, I hope I just made it in time. Uh, there you go. Nope, don't do this. Okay. 
I think it, it I think it just was in time I'm not sure I'm not sure okay I'm um, I'm gonna continue this one here just quickly if this yeah light is coming back to me awesome good we were quick enough um, with the bonobo that is good to know just like drag this in a bit more awesome and one more then we have it there you go this is what we have and actually what I would need to do is I would need to have also a connection in between here so this is what I'm now trying to do and I'm gonna see that I do this with the two meter straight one and just go exactly where it works that we go this is where it works and now just like one one step at a time that should work just like so and then rotate and if I didn't do a mistake which it seems I did it should have worked just fine but I think I'm just gonna move this down to make it always like fit because that one is also floaty don't know why I think it's just not perfectly perfectly fine from the angle so yeah I'm just gonna do it that way and then you know what we do we just find the right angle ourselves now it's like rotated and there we go this should then exactly be the point just like this okay it doesn't have to be like a like full 150 percent accurate just so it looks like something okay so yeah we have this and then um we we just finish that off this way i guess i'm just gonna finish off this front part here and then we should be good to go all right i, I had a little bit of an issue here with the cheetah so <laughs> sorry for the cut but uh i managed to do this and i i just continued without actually recording uh to just kind of quickly uh, do the netting in the way i wanted it to do um now i definitely will need to uh kind of finish off one of the sides here first uh, because definitely i wanted to have as well a little bit of a netting going down there but first before we do this uh, we're going to just um connect the middle okay so we're going to just have a connection in the middle um, but therefore we are going to use the four meter straight rope and we're just going to bring that in here and now let's go and actually try to bring that in somehow in a position that it does fit and uh, match the two sides because um, for whatever reason I, I just kind of missed on which angle I am so I'm just kind of trying now to redo the angle correctly I think it's something like that Oh god, it sticks so weird. And also I used the, the other rope pieces here uh, because I figured that these might be also very helpful since uh, they cover up these ugly connections in between. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm just going to bring this in. Oh, look at that. It does look kind of good. So yeah, also green iguana had offspring. Good to know. So what we also do, we're just going to select all of these, split the group because I definitely want to make sure that this is one group and not connecting with the other stuff uh, because I have the feeling that this might not work good. So yeah, just kind of being being on the safe side here. And yeah, talking of which, this is not really perfectly fine. So we're just going to do my this way, where it should be if we just move it a bit more like so. Ah, uh, nearly. Ah, oh, yeah, that's nearly good. Okay, just gonna rotate a little bit more. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. I think this is mostly the middle. And now let's see what happens if I rotate it this way. Well, it's crap. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Well, let's let's just do it this way and then just kind of relocate it in the middle. I think these are all the angles I wanted to go for. I don't want to make it like completely perfectly fine. I'm just going to go this way because the roof itself or like the design itself, it doesn't really make that much sense either way. Like I like Okay, this is kind of a nice little cage on above, but it doesn't really make any sense because <laughs> it just looks good, okay? But the, there is like nothing really in here that makes sense because, well, they cannot climb here anyways. And w if they could just jump out these things, that would be dangerous anyway. So what is this thing? To I think it's the only thing is uh, it makes sure that no no birds are like flying in here or whatever. But it, since it's not like a huge cage around, uh, it doesn't make any sense. And you know what we do? I am too lazy now to just do this. I'm going to delete all of these things. <laughs> just too lazy. We just keep it uh, with these middle pieces and just put one of these bigger ones in the middle as if that's the middle connector. There you go. We just keep it that way, okay? I, I think it just looks... I think it looks cool and that's what I wanted and it's fine. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just like, I don't know. Um, I just figured that it doesn't make any sense because there is this way around and you would need to have like the ropes hanging down here like I mean we could do this literally yeah okay well maybe we do this okay maybe 
we just do this. Can we connect this? I mean, we could. Okay, we, we just do this, okay? To at least have a little bit of realism. It's not necessarily like the super realism we will have, but I think this is the last time, uh, thing we do before we put the jack in and some, some kind of nature stuff, okay? So we just do this, this, and this, and this, and just gonna make sure that this hanging piece is like in the, oh God, no. There you go. Oh, it's not a building. Oops, we're just gonna make a building out of it. Yes, here we go, awesome. It's gonna quickly do it and just look how it see, uh, just see how it looks. And if it looks good, we can take it. If not, we don't. Okay, let's. This is the four meter rope. All right. So I'm gonna bring this one over here as well. Just copy one more and push that a little more in the middle. Awesome. And then we just do this two more times as if it's for hanging around. And then you know what we do? We're just gonna. I'm just gonna put another one on top here. There we go. It's like a double thing, and then you just pull these things down as if that is kind of what we wanted. There you go. Come on, do it. And this is it. All right, now let's just copy that one over and see if we can make this somehow go in here uh, and just connect to the ropes that are hanging up above, right? So it would need to go somewhat in here, like this. Uh, it's Well, obviously, it's not really fitting perfectly fine, but uh, it's, well, in fact, it's not fitting at all. Uh, let me just see how that looks. And if it does look good, I, I could imagine doing that off screen, but yeah, no, I mean, we could just do the connection between those two then. Yeah, somewhat like that, I don't know. Okapi is about to inbreed again. Stop it. Stop it, please. God, this is like the one thing I don't want to care about. Can we have someone, the, the, the kind of, um, I would call this dude then the uh, non-inbreed manager. Can we have one of these guys? That would be, that would be very helpful. Okay, never mind. We just try how this looks now. Okay. My favorite African song again. So like it, I don't know, this song just spreads very nice vibes. It really is like a very nice vibe in terms of how the how life feels. Okay, that looks ugly as hell. We don't do this. We just, we just don't, okay? We just don't. Let's delete this thing. Maybe we do something like that in the future, but not yet. All right, as this is all done, let's bring the animals in and sum this episode up because it's already quite long. I mean, okay, I made a cut, so it's not super long, I guess, but it's still very long. I know people people like it and people are all in for these longer episodes, uh, but yeah, I, I, I got stuff to do, you know? <laughs> it's not like I will end this time, as I said earlier on, but well. Okay, let's see. Um, we just bring them in and then we can already like... I put all the all the stuff already down, okay. Now what we do, we just go down now to... I need to connect at least these corners here. That looks that looks weird otherwise. Mm, I'm not gonna do this now. I'm not gonna do this now. There's also this little thing always popping up there. I hate it. Okay, is this thing like broken? Okay, I think we do have quite two less uh, mechanics anyhow. So let's just throw some mechanics in. Okay, and oh god, we've nearly a million. This is insane. Okay, we're gonna have a keeper here, and this keeper is going to have the new work zone set to be that one. And this is the Jaguar. Awesome. Done, right? Now, this is what this habitat is all about. The Jaguars are not yet delivered, he's already fixing it. Ooh, yeah, there's already one that fixed this one. All right, let's go to nature and we can already say uh, continent, uh, South Central America and the biome is tropical. That's what we are in. And now let's just put down already some stuff for our friends, the Jaguars. As I said, this will be the very overgrown area here. Um, we're gonna have this done with a lot of these trees. And that area over here will be the one where the people can look into. And now, therefore, we will have also some greenery in here, obviously. So let's just do this already. Maybe maybe we can already please the animal quite nicely when it's when it's going to join this area anyhow. Okay, so we're gonna have the Kapok tree as well. Is this climbable? No, it's not. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm gonna put this here. And then 
We're gonna have this this planned as well. Do 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 do. Also have the fig tree. Just gonna hang like keep that one leaning in here as well. As I said, I really want to make this like super grown, super green. Uh, this fig tree though is nice. We can also put this one in here as well. Is that like? Yeah, well, it can grow through there. Why not? It's fine. Is this also not climbable? Okay. So I wanted to make sure only that these things that are not climbable are already in. And now I want to put some stuff in where I know that they can climb on. So I'm going to put this one in. Um, and also like some of these things just to make it look nice. Can they actually... Oh, wait a second. That would be kind of weird because that is where they definitely can escape. I don't want them to be escaping here. Hello. Hello. Uh, wait, no, that's the... I'm glad I just figured that out. Uh, <laughs> okay, split that from the group and just copy that one over. And just do the same on the other side. If there is any risk at all. Yes, there is. Like here. But there's one of those is enough. Okay, it's not sticking through. Awesome. Okay, let's hit... Are the animals already delivered or what is the issue? Like, why are the animals not delivered? Is that, oh, wait, I know why, because it's not yet connected. Oh my god, yeah, no, that's that's obviously a, a huge mistake. Rudy, get your stuff right. Uh, there you go, connect this, connect this. Awesome. Now this is all connected, and we can already put down, before the animals are there, we can already put down the stuff we need here, and this is donation, donation, donation boxes. Uh, there you go, and gonna make this one, I'm gonna make this one black, okay, in order to make it be reminiscent of the uh, Black Panther, which we clearly won't get in the franchise zoo, but I just wanted to think about it and uh, yeah, just have it. So we're gonna pull them all in here and then obviously in the back here that will also have some viewing opportunity and therefore we're gonna put this down here. Awesome, okay, facilities, and we're gonna go with these education things. Um, there's a wonderful blueprint I wanted to use again. Where's that blueprint? Oh, let's go down here, I will, it's easier to find. Yeah, there you go. Just gonna pull that one down here and gonna copy this one and I'm gonna bring that one down here as well. I don't want to have this overlay. Can I, I think I'm gonna put this further down, awesome. Yeah, there you go. So the animal is not yet in, I guess, so I cannot do this, but is it in? They should be able to deliver it now. Oh yeah, there you go. Let's have a look if the animal is having any... No, it's actually it's all fine. No problem whatsoever. And now let's check if the terrain is fine. Two less soil, but the rest is kind of good. Um, so yeah, let's just do the soil then, uh, which I think is totally fine to do. Uh, we have, Oh god, we can just put all the soil in the back here. Why not? Um, let's make it bigger. There we go. There we go. It's all good. It's all good. These animals do a lot better now. Awesome. So hard shelter. Uh, they have everything they need. Look at that. I nailed it. Nutrition obviously needs to be a bit better. Awesome. Did we actually research that animal already? In in one of I, I built it so often, but I think I never did this in franchise. That correct? It is correct. I never did it in franchise. So there you go. Let's research the animal. Awesome. Okay, so this should now get a lot, kind of a lot more um, cramped and a lot more busy in, in, in quite a few minutes. Uh, but before we do, we need definitely to have a lot more education stuff going on around here. But also, and this is like always the most important stuff, is bins and benches, you know. Otherwise, these people are going to hate us. Let's gonna throw this up. Oh, wait, I wanted to put, yeah, let's put that to the insides. So they don't go too much into it. Look, people are using that. I love it. I love that they use this um, because that is exactly how I imagined it to be. It's gonna put all of these benches down so they can have a, you know, they can also sit here. And now let's do some foliage for the context and we are done, okay? So just gonna put some, some stuff here and there to make sure that this is kind of a bit of a context which we are building in. I'll leave that a bit more open. We can have some more palm trees, floaty palm trees here and there. Why not? <laughs> Who doesn't like floaty palm trees? I'm gonna have another one here. Uh, some of those, like you wouldn't have them in there too much, but like this. And then some of those larger ones as well. Just, as I said, to give a bit more context here and there. I just like it. I just like to slam them down, okay? <laughs> it's nothing personal, but I just like to, I just like to slam them down. Like this. Okay, so here we go. This is it. And now, 
well actually we can also already give them the education bar for Jaguar and there is also this little sound thing oh it's not it's not it's not okay it's only in the back then it's over here right yes it is okay so we definitely have to make an episode next uh, where I figure out all the education stuff because education is not perfect it's it's getting better but it's not perfect any house guys that's it this is the final result our Jaguar house is done on a Jaguar pen and it looks I think pretty cool again for like a for like a franchise stuff this is really good stuff so i really hope you enjoyed and if you enjoy the content as always consider subscribing stay with us at the channel we are moving towards 40k which is awesome i cannot wait to reach it it's gonna be one of those milestones i thought i never never actually uh, get so help me get there and this would be awesome i'll see you in the next one and until then have a wonderful weekend guys and goodbye